What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World and right now we're going to be taking you guys through a tutorial for Team Diamonds. Go ahead and like the video, share and subscribe. Sit back, relax and learn something about Madden 24 and the way the Team Diamonds are probably based on the way that it's already been released several years now is going to get you know put out into the game now i do want to make sure everybody understands i've been getting a lot of questions about people that were banned uh for completing the sets um typically what happens is with the market if you're continuously buying cards um you know for cheap prices or prices that are too uh highly priced um wh whichever low or high the, the the computer actually monitors it and thinks you're a bot all right, and in certain cases you can be banned because there are different ways to like get coins to your account and stuff like that. And EA just has an automated system uh, where it'll just detect whatever it detects. And sometimes you can be wrongfully banned. The good news is this, many of my viewers that have been wrongfully banned has been, you know, their account has been restored in record time, utilizing the methods that I've shown them, help.ea.com, and you just let them know, listen, bro, I don't know, look, look, guys, I don't know what you're doing, but this right here, I didn't do anything, and let them review it. Usually, as long as it's nothing too crazy, they will restore your account with all your coins and everything uh, that has to do with it, so you don't have to worry about it. If you are involved with coin, you know, coin distribution or whatever like that, you, you, it's, it's the luck of the draw. You know what I'm saying, bro? You could try to get your account back, whatever, or just start over. It is what it is. But from what I've been hearing, they've been going crazy uh, with the coin selling situation. So just be very careful if you're choosing to do that. Now, when you take a look at what Team Diamonds are going to be, right? All 32 teams are going to get an elite player, okay? There's going to be a master, all right? Now, we go after the master no matter what because that master is going to probably be going close to 10 million coins. See, and this is another thing. I want to give you guys another tip, right? If you complete the set really quickly, and for whatever reason, the price is locked for the Team Diamond Master, do not put the card up for two million. Wait until EA resets it and allows it to sell for more. Last year, dudes got got on a regular basis because they were putting the card up for like the top price that was available. Do not do that. Wait until the price gap is, is raised, and then you put them up for whatever you feel that it costs. Typically, it's gonna go for about five, six million coins. Uh, realistically the master early on to start that's you know what you're looking at so it's a lot of coins that can be possibly made uh, with this promo so you I want you guys to take a look at where it says my items I have 1600 items right now okay if you go and break it down by the quality it lets you know what's going on now remember the gold items um, it, it varies like the way that they have it like gold versus elite whatever like that but the gold items right okay why is this guy here we should have been sold him for coins um, you're going to be able to go ahead and put together a lot of the lower level parts of the team diamonds because it's going to require a decent amount of cards. Usually I would probably say, say like 20 plus cards and it starts up with the lower level cards and then it goes up to the higher elites. All right. Typically fullbacks and think, you know, cards of that type of nature are going to be more expensive. Well, not more expensive, but, but more rare. Okay. If they have it, if it's team specific. Sometimes they'll do certain sets where it's any of a certain overall, but I have a feeling because of some of the other sets that they put out where they required specific, they may have certain sets that require specific cards so that it's harder for you to get it. And then there is a chance that you have to spend more money. Okay. So the lower level part of it, let's say for instance, it takes 20 cards. I don't think that at this time they have uh, something that's similar to that. Um, but we could check it out. Like with division dynasty, it's one set. Let me, let me go over here. Let me go over here to Division Dynasty. So with these like this, right? This only takes five and it's like any. Um, it's usually, like I said, it's about 20 or something like that. So a lot of what's available right now, I can't really show you exactly what it is because it's not giving me um, any of the options to go like team specific with what it is. So as, it go, as we get closer to it uh, and they start to show, Specifically with the legends, I can kind of give you an example. Um, just imagine this having more cards and it's saying instead of like any overall 86 overall, it's a specific card, right? And it starts lower level style where it's like any gold player or a specific gold player for that team. So 32 teams, right? And you got to get you, every time you complete one of the sets, you get a token. So let's say we completed um, the Houston Texan set. We would get a Houston Texan collectible after we completed that specific team diamond set. And then that would go into the master set, which would require 32 of the actual uh, items, which you would have to complete each one. They're usually repeatable. So if one of the cards is selling for a lot, you can continue to make more of that card and sell it. 
get your coins up and keep going individually one by one to unlock every team diamond. All right. So, you know, under the assumption that they're going to do it the same way that they've done it, all the lower level cards you have right now, the middle elites, all that stuff. This is like the time where I would tell you again, do not get rid of any of your cards now because they've announced it and it's coming soon. Everything right now is very, very lucrative. All right. Because people are not going to have every card. So you're going to make sure that you, you know, you have those things. Also, speaking of Division Dynasty, a lot of these cards may be the top cards that go into it, whether it's an 88 or however it is, right? These cards may be part of every single one of them. So make sure that you have the cards that go into these. Make sure you have the 82s and the 84s, 86. Make sure you can make these sets because these are very, very important. Usually it's like the affinity type of style where you can, you have to put together cards for each situation and put it into the set. So all these like, you know, the headliners for the beginning of the year and all the other garbage that was there, it's no longer garbage. All of these cards now have value. And what's gonna happen is if you just wait a little bit, right? You're gonna start to see that prices are gonna fluctuate. Now, for those of you guys like getting back to the whole thing about getting banned, you see like how those 82s, the 82s have a certain type of price gap, right? So you can't just put it up for whatever. You can't just do whatever you want because if you put it up for too much, and then somebody buys it for really cheap after, the computer is gonna think that you, you bought or sold coins, right? So when you go over to like an 82, let's go over here and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. This is where I wanna like give you guys some insight into it and I, and I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, gee, thank you for saying that. Because people, like I said, we used to have like Field Goal, uh, Crayello, a lot of people that worked at EA that cared and would help us get our account back. I don't know what's gonna happen to a lot of you guys and for whatever reason your account is banned. All right, and I don't want that to happen to you guys, so I'm just giving you guys insight, right? When you take a look at what's going on, you see how this 82 is 24,000? More than likely, this will be needed, okay? This will be needed for the, uh, for the Steelers, um, whatever, whatever they're gonna be doing, the Steelers Team Diamond. So you have to be ready to be able to pay for that because those type of cards are gonna be, they're gonna have a certain type of value. Now, the good thing about it is, it's not like Madden uh, 18 or 17, like when we had like silver champions with like the Barry Sanders set. It's not like that anymore, okay? So you don't really have to worry about, um, as far as like the price ranges go, of it being too much. Because when you go to auction it, I, I, I believe it tells you the max price. So it gives you a current, it gives you a current, um, whatever uh what is it buy it now price the starting price so look when you go when you go to um to put the price in it will it will tell you usually right like if you try to put in a hundred thousand it won't go past 10. so like th there's a limit to all the stuff that you can do you could try to go here and, and see like twenty thousand is there but it's not really giving um you know with the market value lowest buy it now price historical medium price all of these things Oh, the max is right there on the bottom right. My bad, boys. So it's 24,800 is the max. So every single card, regardless if you have it or not, it won't be as difficult to do because it gives you the actual max amount. You can't put it for any more than that. So if you try to put it in for 30,000, it won't work because the max, the max is just not going to do it. It's going to tell you that you're going to get that message. So that those are the things that you have to understand. So as you start to go through it and they release the sets and stuff like that, everybody will know the rare cards because to be honest, it won't really matter what card it is. We're going to go after it anyway if we're looking to get it because it's a lot of coins that are involved with this actual thing, um, you know, when, when putting together the Team Diamonds. But I just want you guys to understand if you're doing anything crazy and for whatever reason you're detected, sometimes it could happen where they accidentally ban your account. And then I would have to give you guys the steps, which is help.ea.com. You go through that to go ahead and get your account uh, retrieved again. But that's what you're going to need. Those lower level elites, some of the goals, keep everything for now. Do not sell anything. Just wait because most of you are sitting on a gold mine. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Stay well. Stay blessed. One love, y'all.